and an exclusive interview with the software engineer accusing him of corruption. Here is NBC News senior investigative correspondent Lisa Myers. Nevada Governor Jim Gibbons is now being investigated by the FBI because of alleged gifts and payments from this man, Warren Trepp, a defense contractor whose Nevada firm received tens of millions of dollars in federal contracts. The question, did Gibbons, while a member of Congress, improperly help Trepp get those contracts? A key focus, a lavish week-long Caribbean cruise in March 2005 by Gibbons, his wife and son, and Trapp, who paid for almost everything. I want the public to know what really went on. Software designer Dennis Montgomery was also on that cruise. He says his former business partner, Trepp, chartered the 727 to fly guests on the trip and picked up the tab for penthouse rooms and plenty of parties. And Montgomery tells NBC News he saw Trepp pass money to the congressman. They gave him casino chips and cash. How much? Close to 100000 Montgomery provided NBC with hundreds of emails, he says, from Trapp's computer. Days before the cruise, Trapp's wife emails her husband. Please don't forget to bring the money you promised Jim and Don on the trip. Warren Trapp emails back. Don't ever send this kind of message to me. Erase this message from your computer now. Governor Gibbons strongly denies any wrongdoing, says he reimbursed Trepp $1,654 for the trip and flew only one way on the 727. I'm not the kind of an individual as a congressman or a governor that would ever accept any kind of payment. Trepp also strongly denies any wrongdoing. His lawyer challenges Montgomery's credibility. We believe we have solid forensic evidence that those emails were fabricated. Montgomery is fighting in court with Trepp for control of the company. You know, some people are going to look at this and say, this is just one angry, disgruntled man. Why should we believe you? Because I know what happened for the last five years and I can prove it. Montgomery has now begun to cooperate with the FBI as the investigation unfolds. Lisa Myers, NBC News, Washington.